say this morning has been stressful is honestly an understatement. You can't even write what's happened to me today. And I really don't even have time to be sitting here and vlogging, but I'm doing it anyway, so here we are. I should, I should not be vlogging right now. I should really be getting on. I just have to let you guys know, fill you in with what's happening. So a couple of days ago, I decided to book a flight to Brazil. Uh, the first time ever flying by myself, which is honestly crazy, but there is actually quite a good reason as to why I don't fly by myself. And that is because I am the most, forgetful, most unorganized, clumsy. My time management skills are like absolutely terrible. And for all those reasons, I don't fly by myself. But I thought, you know what? I'm gonna be fine. I fly all the time. So for the past couple of days, ever since I booked my flight, I've you know, just been like quite stress-free about it. I'm like, it's all good. My manager has actually called me a few times. We have like catch-ups like every morning and she keeps saying to me, Saf, like, have you double checked your your time for your flight? And I was like, yeah, yeah, I have, I've checked it loads. And she was like, but I don't know what it is. I just have like this major anxiety about like something going wrong with your flight because every single time you fly, something goes wrong. I was meant to be in LA, uh, probably, I think I was meant to be in LA, no, I was meant to be in LA a couple of weeks ago. If you follow me, you know that didn't happen because turns out I ended up getting COVID right before I flew. I've literally got turned away at the gate before. To honestly, like me and flights, for some reason they hate me, but I love them so much and I can't see to stop booking flights so it's a problem i kept saying to her it's fine like i managed to go to austria i actually managed to get me and my friend there and i did all of that myself she was like okay that makes me feel a bit better this morning i'm driving home i was out by the way last night until 2 30 a.m i was at an event i got home i got up this morning i went to like a pt session and i have to travel quite far for it so i'm driving back at like half past 12 and i'm thinking my flight is at midnight so i'm thinking i've got all day like i don't have to leave to the airport till eight and that's like giving me like plenty of time this is gonna be like such a breeze. I'm gonna have like all day to pack my stuff, to say goodbye to my family. And anyways, uh, I get a call from a manager and she's like, I'm so sorry, Saf. I, ju I just had to check. I had to check. I had to go on your email and I had to check your flight times because it was stressing me out. The fact that you're just so chill and you always seem to get everything wrong. And your flight, Saffron, is five hours earlier than what you thought it was. So I'm there like, she's winding me up. Like this can't, this can't be right. I got home about maybe half an hour ago. I have to leave to go to the airport in an hour. I can't say goodbye to my family and my case is not packed. Good thing though. Well, actually I say that it's actually like really, really, really packed. I've literally just packed like half my wardrobe. But if my manager didn't go and have a look at my flight, I would have missed my flight. By the time I would have got to the airport, my flight would already be in the air for an hour. Basically, Rebecca, I love you so much. I literally cannot thank you enough. I don't even know how I got it wrong. The flight on the way back was like showing first. So I kept looking at that time like, cause when I'm flying back, from brazil i fly at midnight i don't even i don't know like how you literally can't write it i don't know how i've done it i've never actually quite felt stressed like it in my entire life so i need to carry on packing my case luckily i can actually take three big suitcases which is so unnecessary i'm going away for one week it is so unnecessary but am i going to take more than one big case yes i am so the suitcase is like massively overflowing but i'm kind of just hoping pack my entire wardrobe when i get there i won't be stressed because i'll have enough stuff I'm gonna grab another big case and put like all the remaining stuff and then pretty much jump in a taxi and head to the airport. Say goodbye to someone. Yay. Yay. Oh, is he? Oh. So I'm having a little bit of a meltdown because apparently I've done my test too early. They changed the rules. It was 48 hours and now it's 24, and I want to cry. So I'm having to redo another test and hoping that it comes back negative and then also hope that I get my test results in time. Oh my god, I'm literally, I just want to cry. I just, there's just something, and me, and flying. I just don't know how I do it. I don't know how I manage it. But now we wait, so I've got 45 minutes to wait. Hopefully, fingers crossed. An LA situation doesn't happen. Guys, 
she did it. Honestly, I've never been so excited in my whole life. I am just about to go into the lounge now. Um, I haven't actually told you guys this, but I'm actually flying business, which is so freaking cool. I feel so, so, so lucky. Because it's a 12 hour flight and it was a night flight, I thought I'm gonna treat myself. So I'm gonna show you guys what it's like. <laughs> So my food just came and it looks so good and I ordered two things so I was so hungry. I've never had that on a plane. No, it's the tiny little belt. Look at that. So the airline that I'm flying with is called Latam. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. I think so, but it's a Brazilian. It's like the Brazilian version of like British Airways. Um, I've been so nervous because also I was like, oh my God, I don't speak any Portuguese. So I've been like very scared, but I'm pretty sure all the movies are actually in English, which is really good. Oh my God, I want to watch A Star Is Born. And oh, oh my God, that's my favorite Disney movie. I definitely want to try and watch some new movies though. Really want to watch that new um, Disney movie called Encanto, but I don't know if they'll have it on here. I just want to say, I am so grateful to be on this plane. I am just so ridiculously unorganized and I always just seem to get everything wrong. I think that's just because my life is so chaotic. I need to get better at things like that. It's something I definitely need to work on this year, but I'm just grateful that I'm sat on this flight right now. I just FaceTimed Casey and the kids and I'm just so excited to see them. For me, this is like a really big like realization moment. I feel so lucky that like i was able to book this trip so last minute and i'm sat on this seat that's absolutely amazing and i never would have dreamt of it and honestly like i genuinely cannot thank you guys enough it just means the world and i just feel so blessed and so grateful to be here um oh they're coming around with the dinner menus and i've been eating dinner but am i gonna be eating dinner again yes i am of course i am Casey and Nicole because everyone kept saying hola to me <laughs> but it's not hola it's oi I said it's like a polite way of saying they're like, trying to be polite to you yeah it's right but it's like always more like informal it's a trying to speak to someone like always with a thing it's more like informal thing so. right okay learning new things every day guys guys look how cool their Starbucks drinks are I've never seen these I don't even think I've ever seen these in um, America either. So happy to be with everyone. I literally can't even explain to you guys. So we are currently sat here because we're actually waiting for Nicole's sister, Danny, to come, who you would have seen in the vlogs many times. She's actually also coming. She lands in like 10 minutes. And she's coming from Switzerland so I'm so excited that she's also going to be here there's so many of us here for this trip it's this so exciting all the aunties are in the same place at the same time oh my god it is because like, I don't think Danny and Louisa have ever been to England at the same time together no I don't think so, so this yeah the first time has got all her aunties together Aww. just missing her uncle here Nicole's sisters come Danny oh look how cute Casey, 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 my camera's there, my camera's there. 
Who's that? <laughs> just got here and um, I've just seen the Coles family's house and it's so beautiful. Just spending the morning because it's still really early in the pool and then I think we're going to go to the mall today. So it should be fun. Nicole's doing my order for me. <laughs> a diet coke, please. Uh, oh my, no, I diet coke. Wow, so my first thing that I'm gonna eat in Brazil. This, we're just basically at like the um, food mall. I literally, basically, it's just like, I guess it's just a toasted wrap with, and I've got chicken, cheese, mozzarella, nothing that exciting, tomato. Oh, hopefully it's good. And then this, Casey keeps telling me that I need to try this Fanta, because apparently it's amazing, so. I got this just to try on camera because Casey says it's the best thing in the world. It's so good. This is delicious and tastes so different to like a normal wrap. I don't know why, but mm, really good. The result is it doesn't even taste like a normal wrap. It tastes so good though. Is it in my head or <laughs> it tastes better than a normal wrap? Everything. Everything's better. I'm so excited to go to an actual Brazilian restaurant. What did you get? A bit of everything. <laughs> but where did you, oh, you went to like a steak place. Is that like so, a steak there? It looks like fish. No, yeah, so the steak, they're, not, can they're, they're normally cooked the steak like fresh. I think they've just opened so they're not doing it yet. Right, okay. <laughs> But mm, check you out. The way you pay for this <laughs> is you weigh the plate at the end. Oh, okay. And yours is probably really heavy. Okay. So I was going to try the Brazilian drink for the first time, okay. which is the best, right? So what is it like? Grapefruit? No, so it's like, it's, it it's like got a nut. It's brand. like, a, it's a Brazilian fruit. It's so like really small. So that's what it's on. This the pressure's like on. Bigger than Coke in Brazil. Oh that God! So good. I thought you were gonna say this. Is good. No, 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 no! That is so good. How do you? Exp it's like almost. Like a it's like really cup. sweet. No, I think no. It's, like a cherry it's more like lemon. I don't know. It's like more like fruity, but not harsh. No, it, it tastes very much like cherry. I think. Do you think? Mm. Oh my God! Yeah, I definitely think it tastes. Like Approved. Approved. It's good. Right. So we've come to a little stall in the mall to get a what's it called? Brigadero. Brigadero. Oh, Brigadero. Hang on. This is it. Can't see very well because it's so sunny, but we've just ordered these, so here goes nothing. <laughs> this is genuinely out of this world. It is the best thing in the world. Okay, taking it in. I'll definitely have these, won't I? Oh my god, you've got in between your teeth. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> it's like chocolate caramel. Can't really explain, can you? It's like the softest chocolate you can Yeah, have. like really soft sort of chocolate. Mm. Right, so I come to Brazil. One of the first things I get is an acai, but didn't even realize acai berries came from the Amazon rainforest. So learn something new every day. Look how beautiful the small is. Oh, <gasps> just doesn't quite compare to Church of Square, does it, Nicole? <laughs> we are now just sat on the rooftop and the weather. Oh my goodness, I could get used to this with an amazing view, watching the world go by. Everyone loves football here, but how illegal would this be in the UK? Right, so after everyone, we are back from the shopping mall. Honestly, I had like such a nice time just looking around. The malls are incredible. And I've been told we haven't even been to like the really bougie ones yet. So I'm excited for what's to come, but we are actually just about to go to like well, I googled like best places to go and visit when you go to Sao Paulo and this place came up first, so it's a park. It's called something like Ipiapalera. <laughs> no, that's not right. Parque Ipiapalera. What's it say, Case? Parque Ipiapalera. I literally, I don't know, okay? I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm going to leave it on screen. Nicole obviously can say it, but she says it's just way too fast for me and Casey to even understand. Yeah, so, wow. anyways, <laughs> no, but it's, it's, it's just too fast. I can't. I say it. Word by word. She did yeah. teach us word by word and I've, I've already forgot letter. it. I'm actually learning some new things whilst I'm here already. I'm actually quite excited but a lot of like Spanish terms they use here like por favor. I knew that before I came. Anyways um, we're gonna head out. Literally just got changed because wanted to be wearing trainers and something a little bit cooler because it is so freaking hot outside and I'm so excited about it.
Oh my goodness, this park is so cool, right? Casey and I are debating whether to get this, right? It's like a two peddler. You won't get any sun because it does have a sunroof case. But I said to Casey, the thing is, I don't think I'm gonna get enough exercise in. And he's like, yeah, you can just pull us both along. Yeah, I'll just so... sit back. The football's on as well, I'll just stream the football. I think we'll just get wherever we can because we don't actually know where the bikes are. Also, there's all these cute like little stalls. Pretty much How all cute. of the South Sweet. And, and coconut. Coconuts. That could be me and you. That could be me and you. Case is getting a coconut. Joyce coconut. Just one. No, just one. No. Yeah, on. Yeah, no, I don't want one. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's so cool, isn't it? You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. Here goes another guy, look, here we go. That is my goals, oh my god. Guys, this is why I train in calisthenics, because I want to be able to do stuff like this. One day, yeah, one day. Do you have a background like that? <laughs> no, I don't have a background like that. It's, yeah, it's quite cold doing it outside in the UK. <laughs> Sometimes we're crashing down. We get up and start from the Update, ground. I tried the coconut. Now it was the best coconut water I have ever drank. Wow! The lake was too much for a second. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, crazy if lake was here because it's like crazy. not even near us. Oh my god. Oh god, there's over. so many people here. It's actually then, mental. It's actually just a different oh, child. Oh shut that up. Mental. So I tried the coconut water. It was actually the best coconut water I've ever drank purely because I've only ever drank it out of carton. Still didn't love it, can't lie, but it was definitely a lot better. Um, also, we had such a great trip around the park. There is so much going on. If you ever come to Sao Paulo, like 100%, you've got to come here. Like, and also, it would have been way better if we had bikes because you can get around and see like everything. We basically have. And all their little bits No, stuff. I like just walking around. You literally, you have to go and see Casey's uh, vlog because I did the calisthenics with there were guys in the gym and like yeah. they were so sort impressed. Of, sort of. Didn't didn't that okay. case? Yeah, you do actually need to watch our vlog. It's, um, <laughs> He just now wants to promote really his vlogs. Um, it was so embarrassing. No, no, no. Like from the start to the finish, there's loads right. of different ups and You can downs. calm down now, just play it cool. <laughs> I went to go attempt some like, I don't even okay. know, like, I've got to do 100 right. reps every day. Oh God, are we, in, are we in the way? I think we're in the way, I think we're in the way. <laughs> I don't know how you say sorry in Portuguese, do you? <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I tried to attempt these push, uh, push up things and it, it was just tragic. Update, we are back from the park and I have unpacked everything. Although I don't know if this is actually a bit pointless because Tomorrow we're actually going to a hotel uh, for two nights and three days. All of us are going, Nicole's family as well, which is really exciting. And I kind of feel like, was it was it worth me unpacking this? I'm only here for a week in total and three of the days I'm actually going to be away. Oh, I don't know, I did it anyways. It just was easier. So unpacked and now actually about to get changed for something really exciting, which I'll tell you in a sec. Update everybody. I've changed and I'm really quite dressed up. So this evening, I haven't actually told you what the plans are, but basically it's actually Nicole's best friend's graduation party and Nicole literally hasn't seen like her year group in about eight years. So it's gonna be so weird for Nicole, but also Casey and I are probably gonna be the only English people there, but we've got tickets to go to the graduation. We're sat on her best friend's table, um, so excited. I've never even been to a graduation party in the UK, let alone one in Brazil. So we've all got, just got dressed up. Nicole's saying, imagine a graduation party, but like, Met Gala. I was gonna wear like a really like sequiny dress, but I decided to opt out because I felt like it's not really my graduation, so I just went on a more simple dress, but I still really like it. Oh, you're not really gonna see that well. So this is my dress. It's really cute because it's backless, which is what I love about it. And it's like nice and easy to like dance around, it's cute. Anyways, I'm so excited. I actually can't believe it. Can't believe we're doing this, Case. Casey's all dressed up in his suit. Okay, do you want to come uh, show us how dapper you're looking? I'm trying to find, right? Come on, show us how dapper you're looking. Trying to find my clay. This is like the angle. I've got a great angle. <laughs> Sup, Sup vlog. I haven't seen you like all day. I thought that's my mum. You thought that? You thought I was mummy? But I have blonde hair. Mummy doesn't. Do I look a bit like mummy? Yeah. Say hi to the vlog. Hi. <laughs> hi vlog. I love you. I've missed you. Do you like them or not? Do you think they look pretty or no? Oh, no. Yeah, but do you like loads or not? Um, no. No. Like you can do the same mine. I can just uh, have a little bit less. Yeah. Tala like telling me I've got too much makeup on. Love that. How are you feeling, 
Okay. Not underdressed now. I don't feel underdressed. Not overdressed, sorry. Yeah, we felt overdressed. Maybe underdressed. Yeah. 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 yeah.